Hello my friends, it is time for another episode of a 30 second card in 5 minutes. Although lately my cards have been getting very complicated, so lately it's been 6 minutes. But in all honesty, you know what, hey, fire me, right? <laughs> Sometimes Ken and I fire each other and it doesn't really work out. So it'll be like 2 a.m. we'll both be working because um, our desks are next to each other and we'll both be working and I'll just go, you know what, I am too tired. And he's like, you know what, maybe you should just um, be fired because you, you're such a slacker for stopping at 2 a.m. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna put together a card in my video and I don't, um, why am I yelling? Sorry, I feel like I'm talking loud, sorry. Um, I found this cute little um, packet by My Mind's Eye and it's a six by six paper pad and it's really fun and you know how much I love My Mind's Eye paper because it's fantastic. But these colors are not my normal go-to colors. So I thought it would be really fun for me to expand my horizons and do something a little bit out of my comfort zone. So these are colors that I normally wouldn't pick together. So I'm proud of myself because sometimes you need to, you, you really need to, because we get in our ruts, like I do everything pink. No matter what, everything's pink. Pink, 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 pink. Well, you know what? Sometimes pink doesn't work. You know what I mean? And sometimes you need to try new things because if you don't try new things, you never know what's going to happen, right? You're just going to get in a pink rut and you're only going to do pink for the rest of your life. And you want to expand your horizons and try other things. So that's what we're going to do here. Stephanie's going to do a different color scheme. So here we have this one. So what I did do is I did have to go to my stash of cardstock and I pulled some cardstock uh, that coordinated because obviously I wasn't going to have these colors laying out by themselves. So I picked raspberry, mustard, and celery. What was funny was these colors really coordinated really, really well with all of these papers. I was like, hmm. That's funny that these colors coordinate with this and these papers look awesome. So my card's gonna look awesome, I already know it. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I do know that I'm gonna try to use some of these things that are new this month in our website. So I have the butterfly triplet, I have the flower triplet, I have our flip it card, I have, and you know, I show you half this stuff and I don't use any of it sometimes. Uh, I just wanna show you what's on my desk. I have um, a flower set with dyes. I have sign for words just in case, because I need some words, I'm sure. I have one of our new embossing folders. Of course, I have lots of my inks, and I have my pink adhesive because it's so cute. And let's see, uh, I think I'm ready. I have scissors, I have blocks. I gotta get everything close by, because once that timer starts, oh, Ken, I think you should get the timer ready, because I think I'm almost ready. I have my magnetic platform. Ooh, you know what? Might need this just in case if I'm boss. Okay, Kenny, I am ready. He's got two timers ready. On. on your marks, get set, start the time. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get out my die set. And that is the die itself, and that's one piece. There's another piece, and ooh, I think I might use that one. Ooh, and let's get the border out just in case. You never know what you're gonna use. And we need to die cut, so we're gonna move all this off to the side. Ah! And we're gonna move our secret weapon. We're gonna grab this. Secret weapon's coming soon, July of 14. Ooh, I wanna use raspberry. So let's cut this down just a little, trim that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this through the die cut machine. Now, do not run it through straight, okay? This is straight and that's your, your roller. You need to, to get a better cut, you want to angle this. It has to stay on your, pat, on your platform but you wanna angle that a little tiny bit so you get a better cut, okay? And it'll make less noise, but mainly you'll get a better cut because that is a huge speed, oh, don't move. That is a huge speed bump. See how quiet that was? Now, if you hear noise, that's okay, but you want to get a clean cut up here. So you wanna skew it just a little tiny bit. So there's that. Then what I want to do is I want to get those, pa oh, I gotta pick a pattern paper. Oh, picking the pattern paper is the hardest part. Um, oh gosh, oh, I'm not a bird. Ooh, you know what, I kinda like, oh, I really like, you know I'm gonna go for those flowers. You knew I was gonna go for those flowers before you even thought it, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna grab that, and where's my other die that Matt? Oh, here it is. Grab this, grab that, 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to drop this in there because I don't know if I'm going to use it, but why not have it in there just in case, right? Okay, now we're going to run this through. Oh, come on. Fester, 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 fester. And I have glass underneath my, my big shot, so it's moving. Okay, so we're going to pop all those out. There's one. There's another. There's another piece. And dun, 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 there's a piece inside, so pop that out too. Get that because you don't know what you're going to use, right? Okay, so now we have all that. Let's move that off to the side. Grab our secret weapon. Okay, so now where did our curry go? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to adhere this so we can see what we're working with. And this is my little Tombow adhesive. It has these great dots, but of course you know the main reason why I like it is because it's pink, but it's also a great adhesive. <laughs> so we're going to line that up just like that. And then we're gonna, whoops, I grabbed the dye instead of the paper, that was funny. So now you're not supposed to add adhesive on top of your secret weapon. Do it like this instead, please. Because you don't want to get adhesive on there because that's your stamping surface. Okay, so now we're gonna line this up, get that right there. So it's all line, it's all pre-measured for me, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So then we're gonna fold this and fold it back. So now I need to decorate the outside here. That looks really cute, but no, I need, a, I need flower, flowers, flowers, flowers. You can't go wrong with flowers, right? Thought I was done die cutting, but I'm not. So now what we're gonna do is, ooh, we don't want a mustard flower. We need more pattern paper. Okay, let's grab, ooh, the, oh my goodness gracious, these blue dots are adorable. So we're gonna tear this out, and I'm not gonna move my thing over here. You've seen me cut flowers before, so let's see. Let's do this one in the front. Oh, let's get another pattern. See, these, these things are really cool when you do, when you use the pattern paper, little guys, it's really fun because you have everything right there. Oh, let's see. They all match, you know what I mean? You don't have to worry, I almost grabbed the same paper. Huh. You don't have to worry about it um, not matching because they're all gonna match. Ooh, let's use that one. Okay, be nicer to your paper than I am. Um, so let's do that. And you know what? I might want to use solid instead, so I'm going to add that behind it just in case so I can cut out two at one time to save on time. Now we're going to run that through. Ooh, two layers. Yes, you can cut two layers with a framelit die. You can, you can. See, I just did it. Proof. Proof that you can. Now we're going to use our paper piercer. Those of you new, these are new dyes, so they're gonna, you're going to have to use the um, paper piercer. Now it has, and I know it's hard to see, but it's debossed in these little things, so that's really cute. Now I could add that, and that, oh, hang on, where's my, so I can add that. Can you believe I haven't even stamped yet? That's scary. Okay, so I can do that, but you know what? Let's see. I want to see what that looks like. You know what? Okay, I know what I'm going to do, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to add this on this, and I'm going to layer it so it's not exactly on it. You know what I mean? So it's off a little, and then this one, whoops, I did that the wrong way. Oh crud, hang on, this way. <laughs> I need adhesive on the back, but not yet. So this one, I'm going to line up this, oh, look how cute that is. That looks really cute. And then I'm gonna add this to the center right here, just like that, but you know what, what is it missing? It's, miss it's missing a button. It is missing a button, and of course I don't have colors here that match very good here on my table. So we're just going to grab, oh, that's cute. And this adhesive is nuts. This is by Tombow also, but it is like extra, extra amazing. And you have to, it's like, they said, they told me it's five times the normal adhesive. So we're gonna add that. And then I just realized we need to do some stamping really quick on the back. So we're gonna grab this and we need a die cut that is coordinating oh my gosh we're taking too long we're taking too okay that one see how i lined that up on there just to see we're going to grab that we're going to usually i'd stamp first because i want to make sure i stamp it perfect before i spend the time to die cut it but i just ah! <laughs> just dropped it on the floor <laughs> oh my gosh sometimes i just laugh at myself Ken doesn't think I'm funny, but I think I'm funny. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, this is going to be a um, just for fun card. Just for fun. So we're going to add some ink. I'm almost done, Kenny, so you better be ready. Just for fun. Of course, we're using our secret weapon. 
stamping it right there. We're going to add, we're going to add some adhesive. I like my black adhesive the best. We're going to drop that on the top. And almost done because I just need a stamp on the back that says that I made this. Stop! Okay, hang on. I want to show my card first. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's actually really cute. So, okay, so here we go. Here's my cute little card. See it? Isn't it cute? And you open it up, and it says, just for fun. And if I had time, I probably would have added a little, little button or something there. But what's cool is I used, I had to use one of these to layer exactly how, where I wanted it, but notice how it lines up just right, so it's awesome. And then on the back, I even stamped, what did I stamp? Stephanie Bernard, the stamps of life .com. That's the only personalized stamp I could find in this place. So there's my cute little, and look at the cute little flower. Isn't it fun when you use, when you use a paper pad like this, or papers that go together, how easy it all just goes together. So I'm ready for the good slash or, and or bad news. It is, what? No, that's not true. Did you start the time early? Really? Wow. <laughs> it is six minutes and 54 seconds. I, I'm not quite sure what's going on because I know I used to, I know one time I did a card in four minutes and for like 450 or something like that. So we might have to change the title of these to a 30 second card in seven minutes. <laughs> but that was under seven minutes. So not bad, not bad. I don't know what I could have done besides not talk that could have made it shorter. Uh, but it's still really cute. And I think I, I, I want to say I might give this to my aunt because she's coming to visit me soon. So just for fun. I think it's cute. So thank you so much for joining me for a 30 second card in six minutes and 54 seconds. Blech. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Come on!